Hi, Justin. How are you doing? Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for having me in your Makerspace Kingdom. You know, I've been here many times, as you know. I've seen students uh, build stuff like uh, the last time I saw was a, uh, they built an airplane uh, that they compete in. So, but you know, I, I never really get to see uh, the stuff here up close and personal. We're standing in our phase two building right now. This is where a lot of our students are doing prototyping here uh, at NGIT. But uh, we're also entertaining uh, faculty and staff and our researchers as well uh, in our next door facility. Uh, but we'll start here. And uh, maybe we should start with 3D printing where a lot of our students are doing a lot of their prototyping. All right, let's go and take a look. Let's do it. All right, so this is our self-serve 3D printing area here at the Makerspace. Excellent. Uh, probably our most frequently used prototyping area here. Students are launching their own 3D prints uh, based on 3D files that they create or they download from the internet. I love it that each one of these machines has its own name. Edison, Curie. Yeah. Build I. Love it. <laughs> some of these are scientists. Some of them are uh, artists. And we feel like that's a good intersection of two communities that would use a makerspace. That's right. what we're all about. Oh, here, that's so. definitely, yeah. So our students, faculty and staff, they're prototyping uh, parts here for maybe for class. Uh, we have some students just doing personal prints, stuff for their dorm rooms to decorate. Uh, we have uh, Karishma Jagat upstairs. She's our master's architecture student who works for the makerspace. Let's go see what she's working on. Let's meet Karishma. Hello, Karishma. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. Well, you know, tell me a little bit about what you do here and what kind of project you're working on. Okay, so I'm the grad assistant. Um, I'm a master's architect student. They need a stage for the Maker Speak events that can also act as seating when it's not being used. Over here are the different concepts that we kind of experimented with, different forms, different types of styles. Um, and then behind you is the final form that we're going with. So how much of the things that you learn in the architecture program here at NGIT is put in use in this particular project? Yeah, so I think the entire process. So I started looking at architecture more as a concept. What's nice is that even though this isn't architecture in a building sense, in that huge scale, I'm still able to do it in this small scale as well. Um, and if anything, I feel like having this small scale project, being able to do it from start to finish will help my next semester with construction and building and all of that. Well, this is great. Thank um, you. I, I like that you have put your uh, study to good use here. Thank you. Um, actually, we can go check out our international student, Aziz Mili. He's from Tunisia, and he's working on the vacuum form. All right, let's go and see Aziz. Cool, let's do it. Tell me a little bit about Tunisia and how you get to NJIT. I knew that I wanted to make um, an internship abroad. And doing my research, one of the two major points in NJIT that makes me come here was uh, the makerspace. Yeah, I'm glad that our reputation of makerspace make it all the way down to Tunisia. Yeah, what, is, what are you doing here? What is this machine? Can you explain to me? So this is a vacuum former. Yes. What it does, it's you put a shape in it and it replicates it through this plastic and through sucking air out of it. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you a demo. And now your piece is ready. This is really fast. Within seconds, you got your forming done. Exactly. Well, thank you. Thank you for showing me this. Thank this. you for your visit. So Justin, this is great. I can see how students really utilize this space and to gain the experiential learning. I assume they work in teams, so learning how to do. And, and there's this technology that they learn how to utilize and an experience is, is just phenomenal. I know the impact on them is significant. Students that utilize our makerspace, they get a hands-on experience here to really take the theory that they learn in their classes and apply it directly to real industry concepts. Well, this is wonderful. You know, I travel around the world and meet with many of our alumni, and they all speak about how practical NGIT is. Uh, you just take that to the next level. You just scale it up with this makerspace. We're really proud of the space and what we've been able to do, and uh, we really think we're making a difference for uh, our students and their education. Well, thank you, Justin, for showing me around. Uh, this is a, a great impact, and um, you know, I love this. Your, your makerspace, you, your team, okay, is the epitome of NGIT make, and you bring it to life. Thank you so Excellent. much.